This lesson is part of the TI Inspire CX2 Technology Student Course. In this lesson, we'll learn how to draw scatter plots from data in a list and spreadsheet application. Data has been collected from an experiment where a student measured the length in centimeters of a spring when different masses in grams are attached to it. When entering data in a column, the column requires a name. Use the arrow key to move the top of the first column. The first column we will name mass. Second column we'll name length. Navigate to cell A1 to start entering data. A shortcut to move to the top of the column of data is to press Ctrl 7. If you wish to move the bottom of the data set, press Ctrl 1. Press Ctrl 7, right arrow, Insert a graphs application. Press menu. Select graph entry edit. Select scatter plot. Press the variable key. As the length depends on the mass, mass will be the independent axis. Move down to Y, press the VAR key, select length, press enter. The plotted points cannot be seen and the window needs to be adjusted. Press menu, select window zoom. One method is to select zoom data. Let's set the window according to the data. To undo, press control escape. This time press menu, select window zoom, select window settings, The window has been set from negative 20 through to 700 with a scale of 100 and the Y will be negative 20 to 350 with a scale of 50 and press enter and you can see the axes. Navigate to the list and spreadsheet. Another option of graphing data from a list and spreadsheet is to use a data and statistics application. Press control I. Add data and statistics. Press tab. We know that length depends on mass. Mass will be. 
press tab to move select length be sure to check out more of the videos in this series thank you for watching